what I'm going to do right now is use my meter to test for motor health just test the continuity through the motor to make sure if I've got a condition on this treadmill where the motor's not turning that I have a good treadmill motor or not and this is a very easy test I've got my meter set to ohms with the audible beep setting and remember we can test that we can hear that beep so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the drive motor right here in the center and then I'm going to put my two leads in here and I've got continuity so we know that if we put voltage through that motor it's going to turn and you can also rotate the motor a little bit it's going to cut out because the bars the, the motor brushes are going to lose some continuity between the bars and the commutator. So that little cutout as you turn the motor is completely normal. Okay? And you also want to be paying, paying attention to this number here because sometimes these motors will have problems in the winding and this number will you'll still have continuity but this number will get very very large so it'll build up resistance in the windings not not mechanical resistance but uh, you know impedance the the windings just won't conduct the, the the circuit as well as they once did when they were new and that will tend to lead the motor to run hot or draw higher amps but we know this motor's good. This is how a good motor should work doing a continuity test on it. Thank you.